guys, Erica Tesla, and it is so good to be back. I took a little bit of a hiatus from recording on YouTube and social media in general. I was posting here and there, but for those of you who follow me on Instagram and maybe on TikTok, I was away with my family on a vacation, but I am back now. I was away for about four weeks. We went away to visit family. So um, it was a really great trip and I'm glad to have had the experience and having had time with family. Um, but I'm back now and while I was away, I got some exciting mail from various brands. So today's video is just going to be an overview of some of the things that I got in the mail while I was away. So first, let's talk about what I am wearing on my face today. Before I went on my trip with my family, I entered a giveaway, which I was fully not expecting to win because every once in a while you enter a giveaway and you think, oh, it'll be really fun. And I happened to win the signed PR box from Michaela J Makeup from her Michaela X Glam Light Pot 2 collection. So look, this box is huge and on the back it says Michaela X Glam Light Pot 2 PR box. So this is like the PR box. So this is the box that went out to people who are on the Glam Light PR list, which I am not, but um, that is irrelevant because look what I ended up getting in the mail just from taking a chance. So I'm super excited about it. I'm going to try to like show you guys what's inside the box. Some of the items I took out, but as you can see, um, here is Michaela. She's looking gorgeous. Sorry for my ring light there. And then as you can see, I've taken some things out because I did wear them. And here is the other part of the box. Okay. Things are falling out. <laughs> kind of a mess how I'm showing you guys, but this box is like huge, huge, huge. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the items in the box. Okay. Because the box is a little bit cumbersome, but it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So it comes with this card that shows you every item in the collection. Okay. So let's start out with the beautiful, this beautiful makeup bag. Okay. Um, it has this velvet finish, okay, and it has the Michaela X Glam Light logo embroidered on there. And so the makeup brushes actually came in the bag. So as you can see, I, I just actually finished filming the look that I have on now. And so here are the brushes. It comes with four brushes. So you have some fluffy blending brushes. You have this angled brush here. Um, and, and they're really nice quality. Like they feel like really solid and they also have the Michaela X Glam Light logo on them. So those were really beautifully done. And then I have on my lips, this, um, trio here. So obviously you can mix and match, but I used, um, this lipstick and this lip liner combo with the, um, kind of gold shimmery gloss that came in the collection. And um, I really like how the lipstick formula went on. And I'm a fan of the gloss too, but I really like the lipstick and the, the lip pencil was really, really smooth. And so as you can see, like this is kind of like a more of a mauve tone. And then you have like a, sorry guys, you have a cooler toned kind of neutral pinky shade and this lip gloss. Now I um, didn't try this one. I am a little browner. So like I would probably mix this with like a deeper um, lip liner shade. And then, um, I mean, it could work. I think this could maybe like be cute cause we're still, you know, in summer. But um, for me, I like to kind of go in with like a little bit of a browner lip line. And then we have this like pretty uh, gloss here. This is like kind of more of like a, it has like a little hint of green iridescence to it. Really, really pretty. So that was the lip products in the collection. So I'm wearing, the eyelashes in the style high fashion right now. So this was like the more dramatic style of lashes. And then the collection came with a more like daytime lash called Daydreamer, which is also really pretty. And um, I've purchased Glam Light lashes before. They're really nice quality. I think um, it was the Ice Cream Dream collection that had eyelashes with it. Um, and then we have this uh, 10 pen palette here 
which is really, really pretty with these like green shades. I think like this is such a nice um, option. I think it was really smart of them to do a smaller palette in a big collection like this because not everybody is going to want a bigger palette, but because I'm a palette goblin, um, I was really, really excited to get the bigger palette, which is this beauty right here. This is the one that I have on today. And I was really, really happy with how the mattes performed and the shimmers. Uh, I feel like Glam Lights formula has continued to improve over time, and this is no exception. And so I, I had to go in with the green. I love the shade Cody James, which I believe is her fiance's name. And uh, it went on really, really beautifully. A tip for me, because I have more textured lids, I, I dab the color on, I don't swipe it on. I dab it on because uh, my lids, the skin is not like super taut. So um, just dab it on, but I didn't have any performance issues. I just went in and took my time and I really like how this look came out. And I love that I could just like put the shimmers on with my fingertips. And then last but not least is this beautiful highlighter palette here. Really, really pretty. Um, overall, it's an awesome collection. Um, since I have some more items to go through, I'm not gonna get into swatches just yet, but if you guys want a dedicated video, um, that may be coming, that may be in the works. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so Cleona Cosmetics was gracious enough to share some of the shades from their recent stained glass collection extension, and it came with this gorgeous palette and this fits several shades so in here we have 10 of the extension shades I'm gonna try and like see if I can zoom in on these for you and tell you a little bit about which colors they were kind enough to send me so we have the shade adornment we have cerulean we have the shade CL this is called Queen's Banquet we have the shade Royal Peach Niello, the shade Estate, Cobblestone, the shade Citron, Trinket, and Signet. And so stay tuned, I will be doing some um, swatches. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a dedicated video to this. Cleona is one of my favorite brands. They had sent me the Dragon Fruit Collection with Emily Violet Marie, which was like also fantastic quality and um, I'm really excited to see that they extended the stained glass collection shades. They're so beautiful. And what's nice about the extensions is that uh, depending on your skin tone, you can go a little deeper, a little lighter. Just there's a lot of options and a lot of variety. And, um, you know, it's a smaller company, so it does take time to receive orders. But I'm telling you, just so worth it. This is you know, they, they put some of the luxury brands to shame, honestly, <laughs> with the quality. Um, it's fantastic. And this palette, this empty palette is fantastic quality. It's really beautifully done. So thank you to Cleona for that. This is gorgeous and I can't wait to try these out. Okay, Kylie Cosmetics sent me their new Kylie Jenner birthday collection 2022. And it comes with a lip crayon set and a lip gloss set. And look how cute this packaging is. And so the little details on here, it looks like little birthday sprinkles that you would put on a birthday cake. So we have three shades in the lip crayon. Um, this first one here is called Here for Cake. So we'll do just like a quick swatch, okay? So you can see, like it's very smooth, it's very emollient very creamy. Then I have the shade Birthday Kiss. It's spelled B-Day Kiss. Um, so that's like a little deeper pinky color. And then finally for the lip crayons I got, we have Wish Come True, um, which is kind of like a more neutral mauve shade there. Um, Kylie tends to have like very similar colors. So you might have these shades already, but not in this format. So um, I'll be let you, letting you guys know like what I think about these. I haven't had a chance to like really test them out as far as like wear time, but I am a big fan of Kylie's lip products. I do think that they are really, really nice. And then she also has these um, lip glosses. 
and I love Kylie's glosses. They are really, really nice. So we have three shades here. I have this shade Funfetti, which is this shade right here. Oh, it smells really good too, guys. It smells like cake. So we have Funfetti. Let's see, where can I swatch this? I'll do this. Funfetti. Okay. Then we have the shade. This is pretty. Um, birthday Behavior. That looks really pretty. Let's swatch that one. That one's kind of like more clear and iridescent. Okay. Also smells really good. Yeah, they all smell really good. That smells really good. That's if you like scents. If you're not into scents, maybe not your thing. And then 25 forever. So Kylie just turned 25. Oh, to be 25. So this is 25 forever. That's really pretty. So these kind of have a good kind of coordination with the uh, the lip crayons. If you want to layer them or wear them alone or if you do what I do and I wear one of her um, lip pencils with the gloss over it. Her other glosses are also really nice. Um, so I'm really excited to uh, be trying those out. But I'm a pretty big fan of the Kylie Cosmetics like lip products. And I like her blushes too. I have on um, Batty on the Block today. It's like this really pretty peachy color. So thank you to Kylie. Those are super duper pretty and I'm looking forward to putting those in my purse. Okay, so next up I have a couple of skincare things to talk to you about. So um, this is from Pop Beauty and this makeup bag is super duper cute and they sent me four items. Um, they have their Fizz Jelly Cleanser. I have tried this before. I actually really, really like this. Like if I'm in a double cleanse situation, I'll do either my balm cleanser or my oil cleanser to remove that first layer of makeup and then this is really good for like that second cleanse and then um the peeling zing exfoliating jelly jelly exfoliant oh, I'm supposed to say. um i haven't tried this yet so i um, interested to see how this works um if you're not into like physical exfoliators that may be something that is, you know, maybe not necessarily up your alley, but every once in a while I do like a physical exfoliator, especially to get in my chin for whatever reason, that area and then like in the little nose crevices. And then we have the, um, oh, I'm excited to try this, the Supreme C Cream. It is a um, hydration like moisturizer. So it has vitamin C, ceramide, and some antioxidants. So. Oh, and they say put a coin size amount over face and neck. I, you always have to put the moisturizer down the neck too. Recommend that. And then the extra zing, extra zing C shot. So vitamin C serum. So, um, and I learned this recently that uh, Pop Beauty is connected to uh, Pixie Beauty because the owners are sisters. That is so cool. So um, they really emphasize using like really good quality ingredients. And I. I really like the uh, Pixie products as well, so I'm really excited to try those out. Okay, then I also got this um, Grande Brow, Grande Lips, the, the, the Brow Enhancing Serum, and then their Hydrating Limp Plumper. Um, I'm not super familiar with the brand, but they did reach out to me and ask me if I was interested in trying some of their products. So, you know, we're going to be 40 this year. So yeah, plump, plump the lips and, you know, give me some like extra brows because the 2000s convinced me to tweeze them away. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to see if I can like fill in my brows. So this is what the brow enhancing serum looks like. And then we have the hydrating limp, limp lip plumper sorry so yeah these these look really interesting um these are products that i'll probably have to try out for a couple of months <laughs> to see if there's like any impact that's the only thing sometimes with some of these like skincare and like hair care products is like you really need time you need several weeks to really find it out so um you know as long as brands are like cool and they give you time to like test it out like that is totally fine because those things do take time Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but I got PR from two brands that I have um, not gotten PR from before. So um, Bare Minerals sent me some skin care products from their Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Collection. So this is the info card here. Um, so it is supposed to be, uh, you know, have botanical extracts and things like that. 
Um, again, this is skincare, so it'll take me a little while to uh, research the claims and test them out. But here is the um, Long Life Herb Serum. And so this is for uh, moisturizing like the face and the neck. I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality of the packaging. You have this glass packaging and a pump. Okay, we love a pump for hygienic purposes. And then we have the um, night treatment. Um, I'm not sure how much this costs, but I will put the info in the description box. So this is a night treatment. I love uh, like night creams for my face. I always put something on my face at night. Moisture. Oh, and it smells really, really nice. Like it's, it has a scent, but it's not like a chemically scent. It smells like probably the ingredients that are in here. Um, so this looks really nice. Like I'm, I'm really loving the packaging already. It feels like very substantial. It does not feel cheap at all. Um, so if you are a skincare snob, at least when it comes to skincare packaging, you will like this. And then here's the eye treatment. Yes, I am old enough to need an eye cream and that is fine. And this also is packaged really beautifully. Okay, we have a little extra product that has escaped. That's fine. This does not have a scent, which I am actually happy that eye cream doesn't have a scent. But um, yeah, this looks like it's a really nice, like, thick creamy texture which is like great for under the eyes um yeah so i'm i'm really looking forward to trying this beautiful packaging thank you to bare minerals for sending this my way i'm really excited to try this out okay so i'm really excited that laura mercier sent me a new translucent powder product this is the translucent loose setting powder this is called their ultra blur ultra blur so um the usual one that i use looks like this it has the dark lid on it um and they both have oh actually this has a little less product than the one that i usually have so i don't know if that's like a pr thing or if that's like the new product is like requires less product but i i love the laura mercier translucent setting powder like the og i've been using it for years now and um even as my skin ages it's so uh forgiving and kind to maturing skin and i never get flashback and so this claims to have no flashback so what they said in the package was this okay now if you don't know what this is i am not judging you it just means that you're really young <laughs> Um, and maybe you have like a parent <laughs> or grandparents who have these like stacked in storage somewhere. But I opened up the box and I was like, first of all, where am I going to get the film developed? But secondly, this is so cool. I thought this was like really fun. They know their target audience. Okay. Um, I still think I have one of these from like high school from my graduation. <laughs> And um, this was like how you took the original selfie. Like you, you had to like hold the camera like this and you just had to like hope that when it got developed at the drugstore or at the photo developer place, like it would show up. So thank you to Laura Mercier for sending me this beautiful product to try because I'm really excited. I have a lot of high hopes because I love the original formula and also for bringing back some very fond memories. <laughs> this just cracked me up when I opened it, so love to see that okay last but not least as far as like pr goes i like vizier i love them so much um they sent me the um petit four and their new like pastel collection so the pistache the pastille the Levant and their Pesh. Now I have these already, so stay tuned. I'm going to put these in a giveaway because I have these already and I wanna share the wealth a little bit. Thank you to Viziart for sharing these with me. I do have some looks that I have shared um, using Pistache and I did do a YouTube video, which I will link in the description box if you guys wanna see these. Um, I, I love these, I love these. And um, Pistache is like, 
my go-to, my favorite, because this the green in here is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna open these again because like I do want to share these with you guys. So stay tuned for a giveaway. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it here or on IG, but that will be coming soon. And um, thank you again to Viziart for just being like so amazing and supportive of small content creators like me. Okay, so um, before I even left town, I did get a PR box literally the day that I was leaving for uh, Europe. So that, that's where I happened to be going um, for vacation, as I mentioned earlier. But they sent me, this brand called Cavalli Lash sent me eight pairs of lashes to try. I do have a video trying on one of the pairs of lashes. Um, I tried on the style um, Ventura. This is so pretty. I have tried this style. Um, I, I wanted to have time to do like a lash try on video, but I was really impressed with the quality of the lashes. And I also really love their lash applicator. Um, not gonna lie, the lash glue, nothing to really write home about. There's one that I prefer um, from Amazon. I will link it. Um, I found out about this one from another influencer, but um, I can't remember who it was, so I do apologize because I, I would like to give credit to them. Um, but the eyelash adhesive, this one by uh, Kalas, um, it is amazing. Um, it's on par with the House of Lashes glue that I can't seem to find anywhere anymore. Like it's, it's really long lasting, very smooth. It doesn't dry out very quickly. So I've been really loving that one. But um, getting back to the lashes, these are really stunning. So we have eight styles. I have a very cute, fun TikTok video, just like giving you guys an overview of like the lash styles. If you want a lash try on video, let me know. Happy to oblige now that I'm home. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Um, thank you, Kavali Lash, for sending these pretties my way. I'm looking forward to incorporating them into my looks. Thank you. Okay, another product I received just, just, just before going out of town, Minted Cosmetics came out with a new eyeshadow product, which I'm really excited about. And these are really, really good guys. So they have these new eyeshadow sticks. I will, um, again, put the info in the description box, but um, there's three shimmer shades and a matte shade and these are really really pretty so um, Like super smooth and creamy guys like really really creamy um, Let's see I'm trying to swatch these for you really quickly They're really pretty like this one here. This is the shade deja brew so it's like this really pretty coffee shade super gorgeous i'll list the names again in the description box but these are really really nice they are waterproof like they they stay on all day so i did wear these um with me when i was in france and i don't know if you guys were aware but it was there was a heat wave it was so hot there most days and um the days that i wore these like they did not come off um granted eyelids don't really sweat that much to my knowledge maybe Maybe they do, mine don't, but I was hot. And while the rest of my makeup was like looking good and shiny and <laughs> probably ready to melt off, like these did not budge. So I'm really impressed with them. I do have a code with Minted Cosmetics if you're interested in making any purchases from them. So I will leave my code in the description box below. Uh, please use my code, it does help me out a lot. Um, but if you have another influencer whose code you wanna use, like make sure you like put someone's code in because you can always save money um, with a code at Minted and most of the time um, even their new products like they don't necessarily limit it um, unless it's like brand 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 new um, but I think these can qualify for an additional discount if you want to use a code or you want to explore some of their other products I know they're like expanding um, throughout more Ulta's and Target's if you wanted to like try things in person so hopefully these will you know be there for you to try out like I'm, I'm really impressed with these um, you know they just have a lot of really good hero products really solid brand and I'm really excited to see that these added they added these to their lineup so thank you to Minted for sharing these with me I'm really excited to have them okay last but not least I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I actually purchased myself so um, I was out of town as I've mentioned before and so I didn't really do like a lot of makeup shopping abroad but before I left there were a couple of things a couple of things that your girl could not 
resist. And so I did pick up the Mothership 10 by Mother Pat, Dame Pat. Um, this is the Moonlit Seduction Palette. This is the packaging. And then I have the palette itself here, which is like, she's so pretty. This is really, really pretty. I know, I know how some people have opinions. They have thoughts and opinions and they feel that there should have been different colors, different varieties. And maybe that's the case, but I really love Pat's formula. And every time I wear her eyeshadows, I always get compliments. Um, I love how my eye looks turn out. Um, so I was really keen to just like try this out and I do want to do a dedicated video slash tutorial with this one. Um, cause you know, um, this, it just looked really pretty. My camera's not doing it justice. My camera's not doing it justice. So I'm going to do a dedicated video to that beauty and I will let you guys know like my thoughts on it. I will do a review on that one. And then I had to pick up the Danessa Myrick's Lightwork Volume 3. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is gorgeous. Now this is really exciting. I think these are kind of some of the shades like people want to see uh, Pat do, especially like a green like this and a purple. Like I've been wanting to see what Pat McGrath would do with these kinds of shades. But, you know, Danessa, she swoops in to the rescue, okay? And she has come in and she's given us this. And so I picked mine up from Camera Ready Cosmetics. Uh, they do carry her brand. And they always have like really good sales. Like um, I think they have sales more frequently than Sephora actually. So um, I recommend checking them out. I will put the link to where I got mine below. And so these were waiting for me when I got home and I was so excited to, to see this. So um, I think that I might have to dedicate a video to that as well. So. Uh, yes, thank you to me for picking those up because that's how I got it. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video of some of the things that I got in PR plus a couple of purchases. Um, I'm going to try to like work through all of these products. So I'm slowing down on purchasing this, this kind of like latter half of the year, you guys, like I have a lot of makeup to work through. So I've been trying to do a much better job of like not being tempted by like every single new release and just really focusing on things that I'm interested in and also playing with things that are already in my collection. Um, so if you're interested in any particular products that uh, you know, you saw me talk about today, let me know. I'd be happy to share more information with you, answer any questions that you have, and of course, create more content around that. And speaking of content, make sure that you follow me on my other social media channels. I'm pretty active on TikTok, Instagram, once in a while, Twitter. It's kind of scary over there. <laughs> and then I'm trying to post a little bit more for you guys here on YouTube because I do like having that longer format video and being able to chat with you guys about uh, makeup that I am interested in. Um, so all of that being said, thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to watch this video. I hope that you found it entertaining and maybe even a little informative. And if you are like this kind of content, please be sure to like this video, leave me a comment. I love engaging with you guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I would love to get to about 500 subscribers. That's where I am right now. That's my goal, 500 subscribers before the end of the year. That would be like so amazing um, to grow my community here and to have more connection with you guys. So um, yeah, again, I love hearing from you guys and thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.